This week, we're kicking off with a few investigation updates. This week, a confidential 134-page investigation into the crash of Egypt Air Flight 804 was sent to the Paris Court of Appeal and was obtained by an Italian newspaper. The Airbus A320 was flying between Paris Charles de Gaulle and Cairo when it disappeared over the Mediterranean Sea. All 66 people on board were lost. Egyptian authorities initially said that the plane crash was a result of a terrorist attack, but those claims were widely discredited. Now, the leaked report by the BEA alleges that the cause was actually a pilot smoking a cigarette. Several days prior, a maintenance worker replaced a cockpit oxygen mask, inadvertently leaving its release valve in the emergency position, leaking oxygen into the cockpit. When a flame was introduced to the oxygen-rich cockpit in the form of a cigarette, a spark, then fire, followed. At the time, smoking in the cockpit was allowed. That rule has now changed. Egypt has refused to release its own report into the crash, citing terrorism concerns, and in 2018 rejected BEA's initial findings, dismissing them as unfounded. The BEA also released an update into its findings following a serious incident involving an Air France 777 approaching Charles de Gaulle in early April. The report reveals an image of struggle on the flight deck, with the report noting instability of flight controls on final, go around, hard controls, and flight path oscillation. Corroborating earlier reports, the BEA indicates that no failure warnings or anomalies were detected. The aircraft performed as designed and responded appropriately to pilot inputs. Taking a look at the flight data recorder parameters, conflicting control inputs by the pilots are apparent, though each pilot seemed unaware of each other's inputs. Here, the captain holds the column in a nose down position, while the first officer commands nose up. A statement released by Air France reiterated their commitment to safety and said they will continue to cooperate with the investigation. This week, Boeing confirmed in its Q1 financial results that delays in the company's 777X program will result in deliveries starting in 2025. This is based on an updated assessment of the time required to meet certification requirements, according to Boeing President and CEO Dave Calhoun. The company will also halt the production of the 777X through 2023 to minimise inventory and the number of airplanes requiring change incorporation. Last year, the Federal Aviation Administration informed Boeing that certification would not be possible before mid-2023, with the agency also denying Boeing's request to clear a certification hurdle, citing lack of data and preliminary safety assessment. This fall, NASA will conclude operations of the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, SOFIA. The observatory is based on a modified Boeing 747SP and carries a 2.5-metre reflecting telescope, designed for infrared astronomy observations in the stratosphere, at altitudes of about 41,000 feet. SOFIA's telescope first saw light on May 26, 2010. It completed its five-year prime mission in 2019, and is currently completing a three-year mission extension. The National Academy's Decadal Survey on Astronomy and Astrophysics 2020 evaluated SOFIA and found that its science productivity does not justify its operating costs, and its capabilities do not significantly overlap with the science priorities identified for the next decade and beyond. NASA this week announced SOFIA's operations will end no later than September 30, 2022.